Okay, I'm taking the top cover off of the 8N hydraulics. My uh, three points leaking down. I've got a upgraded uh, piston coming with the seals. So I'm gonna go ahead and pull this cover off and repair that. Okay, I've got all the bolts out for the top lid for the hydraulic. Uh, don't want to remove these four. Those hold your cylinder for your piston. Once you get the lid off, you'll have to take those out to replace your piston. But you don't want to take those out until after you get the lid off. Okay, I've got the top lid off. I've got the gasket off, got it cleaned. But this spring here, which is your drawbar control spring, is broke. That's a uh, part number 8N684. I was able to find one used. This part is no longer manufactured. So I've got another one ordered, got one coming. But everything else looks good. That's the uh, piston sleeve. I've got it out, it looks good. I've got a the new style uh, Jubilee piston coming. That uses a leather backing and a O-ring instead of uh, metal rings. So I've got that coming. Hopefully I can be able to get this thing back together. Okay, I've got the top lid off. Um, poured a little bit of diesel down in here. There was about an inch of sludge on the bottom. I'm going to let that soak a couple of days and then, then drain that. I've got the... Uh, um, lip here all cleaned up so when I get ready to put it back together I've got a nice clean surface for the gasket okay I've got the new piston for the hydraulics I got the o-rings on I just need to tap it in Drive it down in and we'll be good to go. Okay, now I'm going to put the gaskets on for the, the uh, piston cylinder. I won't be able to put the top back on until I get the spring that was broke. Hopefully that will be here in a day or two. But get some... Uh, gasket material on this and put these gaskets on and mount the cylinder okay there's the piston cylinder back on the two short bolts go in front the two long bolts going back all I need to do is flip it over and tighten the nuts okay I've got the piston cylinder bolted, bolted back up this little lever here, I believe, is your draft control. And that was where the broken spring was hooked up to. And I think that's probably why my draft control would never... I could never set the three-point to a certain position. It was either all the way up or all the way down. I never could get it set just right. So I'm hoping that spring being broke, will fit, when I get the new one, that'll fix that. So that's about all I can do now till I get that spring. Then I'll be ready to put this thing back together. Okay, I've got the oil, oil drained. I've had some diesel sitting in here soaking. Uh, there was about an inch of sludge on the bottom of the case. So. I'm going to drain that oil out 
doesn't look too bad in there once I get the oil drained out I'll make sure all that sludge is gone okay that's pretty much flushed out I've blown it out with the air put the drain plug back in and then once the spring gets here I'll get that put on then I can put the top lid back on and get this thing filled up with some hydraulic oil this tractor sat for about 10 years and uh, I didn't change the hydraulic oil when I first got it because I figured I'd have to do some work to it and I figured I'd change it when I did the work. So this oil will probably get changed on a regular basis now which will help keep it clean. Okay, I've got the oil, oil drained. I've had some diesel sitting in here soaking. Uh, there was about an inch of sludge on the bottom of the case. So I'm going to drain that oil out. It doesn't look too bad in there. Once I get the oil drained out, I'll make sure all that sludge is gone. All right, it's a little after three. I just got my package in the mail for the spring. So I'm going to get it put on and get this top lid back together. Okay, this was the spring that was broke. I've got a replacement. So all I need to do now is put the gasket on and I can put the top lid back on. okay top lids on got to make sure that the lever goes down and there's a uh, little round hole on a sh uh, shaft that that has to go in need to make sure that's in all i need to do now is put the bolts in okay i've got everything back together 